Alright, today I'm going to be installing a GeForce NVIDIA, uh, let's see, 1 gig uh, SDR3 or DDR3 RAM video card. Um, yeah, it's got HDMI ports on it and stuff. And it's pretty cheap. I got this thing for like 40 bucks. So we're going to be putting it in this here Dell. It's a compact or a you know, yes, yeah, slim version. So I may have to do some adjusting on the bracket. Uh, I think it comes with the low profile brackets uh, included. But yeah, I'm actually using the VGA port and I'm going to be switching over to HDMI so we can watch it on my 42 inch Vizio TV. So we have a home entertainment uh, computer in the bedroom. So let's get started installing it. All right, got everything disconnected from the back. A little dusty, we'll get that cleaned up. All right, moved it outside on the back porch so we won't get any dust in the room. All right, yeah, pretty filthy. So now, yeah, here's a little flapper. Let's get this lid off, just like that, one hand. Set that there. All right, so what I'm going to have to do, yeah, I'm going to have to probably wind up taking my fan out. That sucks, but that's all right. We got a fan on this video card, so we'll, uh, we'll just use that. And, uh, yeah, this whole thing slides out here, so let me get my screwdriver to get that out of the way we listen to the train horn yeah this is a fan mod that I made uh, a couple years back just plugging it in here and all that so we'll get this out of the way so we can install a video card all right fan is out of the way so we set that over there so now I got plenty of access for the video card we'll go ahead and open this up check it out all right, inside the box we've got the installation kit, which is a driver disc. So we may may not have to install that. Chances are we might. So, yeah, looks like yeah, it's just dual slot. Yeah, I'll read up on it. Yeah, insert installation CD, so yeah, we'll have to do that. And then we've got the brackets. There's the low profile brackets there. I'll be using one of those for the DVI HDMI. And then the video card itself. Yeah, hold on. All right, here we go. INNO 3D. So, yeah, uh, that's great. Drop my disc. Okay, now. All right, so we got the VGA, HDMI, and DVI. We're just going to. We're going to have to take this bracket off, let's hold on by those uh, little nuts there and we'll put the low profile bracket on because yep, we're not going to be using the VGA. So let me get my needle nose, we'll do that. Alright, so I got all my little nuts removed, so we'll get that bracket out of the way. Now I think we can actually unplug this VGA connection, so we're not even going to be using it. but. Let me go ahead and get this other bracket on first. All right, yep, so there's two brackets. This is one we're gonna be needing, because that'll go on a little something. I'll try to do this with one hand. There, a little something like that. So now you got a low profile bracket so it'll fit in this computer. Let me go ahead and get, get the screws tightened down on it here. There we go, bracket is on. And let me see if I can get this VGA off here. Yeah, no problem at all. Just the pin slides on and or off. So I'll just put that back in the box with the other stuff. And I'll get this sleeve out of the way here. I think, well, I don't know, I may not need to I'll try this. I haven't done this before, so I'm just kind of experimenting here. Okay, yeah, so it just slides in under the little blue bracket here that holds it in place and seats in like that and then that just locks it in place no screws required so 
yeah, that's a pretty easy install. And yeah, there's the fan. So it's still got ventilation. So I'm going to probably have to get a couple, find a couple brackets to stick back in there. So, um, you know, for airflow, but I'll have to search for them. But for right now, we'll just continue with this installation. All right, got all the accessories boxed back up. So now we're ready to put the lid back on like that. And let's go ahead and reinstall it. All right, here we go. HDMI is in there. We'll leave the VGA cable off. We no longer need it. And we'll get everything reset. All right, we'll go ahead and cut it on. Actually, we'll get the disc installed here. There we go. And we'll wait for the signal. Uh, I want to repair. I'll start Windows normally. Daffy computer. And while we wait, this is an Optiplex GX620. Oh, good. We'll let it finish its updates. All right, we got some black bars around the edge, so I'm going to have to reset the uh, display. All right, NVIDIA GeForce install drivers. And let's see, Windows 8, 7, let's see, this is a 32-bit, so... Uh, huh, let me do some checking. All right, we selected the 86, and we'll let it install. All right, one driver's done, I think. Uh, yes, checking system compatibility. All right, well, I guess the system check, it passed. We'll agree and continue. Uh, let me check the custom. All right, so that's all the additional drivers and stuff. All right, we'll click next. Boy, this sure does take a while to load. Oh, yay. Let's go ahead and restart. <laughs> All right, well, we got sound. We've got our video display is back where it should be, so I guess that's all it needed was the drivers updated. So, good. Welcome. I guess it's still finishing its low, but yeah, it's a pretty good picture. HD video cards, so main reason I put this in was uh, for watching videos. We've tried watching, or my wife has tried watching uh, videos. I don't care about Explorer. Uh, get the load here. Yeah, and I got... There we go, there's our sound. And I'll move my gadgets over and my calendar. All right, so now going on to Google, check out some of my videos, see how they play now. All right, there's my channel, RVR2. Internet's a little bit slow. All right, well. Hey, this is RVR2, and welcome to a little bit of my world on video. There we go. <laughs> that was better than it was. Let me bring that back down. Well, good. So the video card's working just fine. And the installation is done. Stop that and show you one quick modification I had to do here. Uh, yeah, I had a... Yeah, thing's beeping on me. All right, the uh, oh, HDMI port was up against that bracket, so I couldn't get the cable to connect up right. So I had to use a DVI to HDMI adapter in there on the back. So... Yeah, I guess I must have powered it down by accident. So, anyway, just wanted to make a quick note of that. Um, 
you know, if you get a better shot. The HDMI, which is right there, see how close it is to that bracket? I couldn't get the HDMI cable to connect up right so it wasn't getting a signal. And I had one of those DVI to HDMI adapters on hand and yeah, it obviously works just fine. So putting everything back in place. And uh, so yeah, now it's shut down, so I'll just go ahead and start it back up. But uh Installation is complete, and uh, in fact, let me get this driver disc out so I don't forget it. Pack that away. So there you go, installation of a of an NVIDIA GeForce uh, N84GS-3DDV-D3BX uh, one gigabyte 64-bit SDDR3 video card. So. Uh, there you go. Something it's probably overkill, but again, for watching videos, that's probably all we need. So, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up this video, and uh, thanks for watching.